There's a little hole down here. You can actually melt some monsters down here and fight them for a prize. If you shoot these guys with fire arrows, they burn. They burn like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ho -ho -ho. Didn't like that too much, did you? Tell me you dropped some arrows here. Yeah, you did. I didn't see those arrows that that other guy dropped that I missed. I was like, yeah, hey, I look for some arrows here, and then he dropped some, and I didn't even pick them up. Sometimes they're hard <gasps> Ooh, to see. I almost went back in the entrance there. Oh man, he hadn't had a chance to materialize there yet. Oh, you sound like you're in such pain. You can also get another power bracelet down here, or oh, not a power bracelet, a knight's crest from uh, Iron Knuckle or something down here, Dark Nut, whatever he is. Let's pick up some rupees too. Let's see here, oh, you guys, huh? No, no, the other one. Other side trucks. Well, that does use up your magic quite a bit. I need to get that double magic upgrade, dude. I'm right there next to it, too. We might just go ahead and sail down there and do that in a second here. Alright, what's your beef? Where's the beef, man? Uh, uh. Uh, 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 I'm not giving you a chance, am I? Now you're on fire, too! Oh, what a terrible way to die, man. Jeez. And we get a treasure chest. Yay. You might think this is really important, but actually it's not. Let's get that knight's crest. I need to check and see how many of those I got, so I can go back home and learn that next move. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Joy Pendant, whoop-dee-doo. The cool thing with these swords, you can actually, like, pick them up and do spin attacks with them. Yeah! Like that. So, and that actually works on the Dark Nuts, too. Which I didn't even think about that. Because you can try swinging it, but it's really slow because the sword is so heavy. But you can do spin attacks with them, which is cool. Anyway. So we're gonna get on back out of here. And fortunately, it takes you back out of the dungeon altogether. I don't like to call it a dungeon, because that's not really what it is. But, no, oh, there we go. <laughs> we got a treasure chart we need to pick up on this island, too, so, whoop, just fell in the water. Get to land, to land, quickly, quickly, quickly. Ay ay ay. It should be, like, right on the other side. Oops. <laughs> Somebody's shooting at me out there, and he's pissing me off. Can go kick his ass in a second here. Dude, I can't jump. It's because I'm walking off of the corner of the platform. So I don't really know what to... Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, at least it's morning time, that's good. Okay, now. There we go. Yeah, right over here inside of this ice. You know, we get this treasure here. Do 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 I can't wait to see what it is! Man, that's stupid rubbing the hands together, that's so stupid. Man, who in the world does that? I mean, seriously. Okay, yeah, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. Let me skip this. Let me skip it. Let me skip it! Alright. Where's my boat? Where's my boat? I think he's on the other side. I always forget, like, my sense of direction with this island. Like, I always think this is the east side, but it's not. So, I got ten rupees here. You're gonna need all the rupees you can get, so don't pass them up if you see one. There he is. There's my baby. <clears throat> Man, I don't know what else to say. Okay, so we need to get that uh, magic upgrade, which is right about here. So, in the wind, yeah. I reckon we can handle that. Yeah, because she's kind of to the east of it. Well, maybe I should change the direction. I can always just cut it out. Yeah, I wish that thunder would stop. I know that's going to be driving my capture card insane. Let's see, 24 minutes. Not too shabby. Doo doo doo. Wah, wah. Yeah, down here, but ooh. No, uh, well, we're not quite there yet. We need to get inside the sector first. Once you get inside the sector, you should be able to see seagulls flying over a certain spot on the sea. Almost there. Sometimes, if you watch really close, the screen will freeze for like a split second when you enter a new sector, and that's how you'll know 
you've entered one. Yeah, see him? Well, no, I just, no, that's the fish. There might not be seagulls over this one, I don't know, but he's out here somewhere, so... We'll just keep an eye out. Huh. Well, there's a seagull right there. There's a Breagle. <laughs> Breagle Cinemas. Let's see. Should be around here somewhere. Just keep looking. Hey, what was that? Oh, that's a treasure for a second there. Those are all pretty much rupees when you see those shiny spots in the sea. You can dig them up if you want, but it's always going to be rupees. So the treasure charts, though, they'll be bigger rupee amounts, like 100 or 200, and sometimes pieces of heart. So that's why it's a good idea to go ahead and get those when you can. Because they're pretty useful. Are you sure it's not east of here, Angular Isles? It might be there. If I could have sworn it was here at 2 Eye Reef. We'll just keep looking. I think it might be like south of it. I know it's here though, so. No worries there, I know what I'm doing. You'll just have to trust me on this. When the sky gets cloudy, you know you're in the right spot. It'll just appear out of nowhere too. I mean, seriously, it'll scare you. It scares me, man. I'll tell you what. Gee, we're almost out of the sector here, and I haven't seen him yet. Uh, wait, I see. Okay, see the seagulls back there in the distance? That's where you need to go. It's right against the wind, too. So I'll do this little casting trick here. Is that what it was called again? Casting? I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to sit there and change the direction of the wind now, jeez. <laughs> I could do that, but yeah, see, it's getting dark now. And there it is. It's right on top of me. It just, it just comes up right on top of you. Big Octo time, baby. Finally, we can fight this thing. And, uh, he's going to blow his eyes out with the bomb thing. Pretty much got 30 shots. It's not like we can lose this. And if you run out of bombs, you can use your boomerang, too, so back here. Oh man, I thought I had it that time. There we go. It's got one more around the front. This one sucks you in pretty fast, so watch out. That's so nasty. Like, seriously? All that blood and ink or whatever coming up off of that thing. There you go. Oh yeah. Nice to be winning that fight for a change. That's the first time I've actually seen one of those since I ran into him in that episode a long time ago. <laughs> Boom! Alright. So I think I'm probably going to get this upgrade and call it an episode. Thanks to you, I've been freed from the beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. Just a little? Okay. What, like 10%? What is she gonna give me? God! <laughs> that is the most hilarious shot ever. Like, you only see that once. Like, so funny. Because you don't see it coming, you think he's gonna hold something up, and then he just throws his arms in the air like he just don't care. Yeah, so that upgrade's taken care of. We got an arrow upgrade over here on Thorn Fairy Island that I wanna get. And there's one other arrow upgrade. I forget where it is, but it's on one of these fairy isles. Anyway, but we're just going to do that next time because I've had enough of this recording. So I will see you next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Take care and thanks for watching. See ya.